What is up my peepholes? This is your guy Cly, and welcome back to that thrifting series. Today's video is going to be a little bit different in that it's not so much a haul, but instead a breakdown of what you see here. This is the computer that I built using almost purely thrift store acquired parts. Anything that wasn't bought from a thrift store is actually a carryover from my previous PC build, so it didn't really cost me anything to put it in here. I decided to finally transfer my PC into the new case that I thrifted, the Corsair C70, which if you're interested, originally retailed for $130. I found it at a thrift store in unused condition for $13. But I decided to make the transfer because while setting up for my podcast, I noticed that my old fans had gotten manky and started making noise and I could hear it 100% in the background on my mic. It would really take a decent noise gate to get that to go away. So what I have on the front panel, I already told you about the case. The Blu-ray drive is a carryover from my previous PC. So is this little guy right here, which is a hard drive hot swap bay currently putting the one terabyte that I thrifted and the 150 gigabyte that I dumpster dived in there. But ultimately that's going to just be for modular storage. Those were just in there to show you what it was all about. As for the thrifted components, other than the case on the outside, I have a Creative Sound Blaster Audigy 2ZS audio interface integrated into my case. This is a nice little thing. It allows me to do 24 192 capture, which that's 24 bit 192 kilohertz, meaning it is overkill for anything I'm gonna be doing. That's considered studio or vinyl quality in some circles, whereas most YouTube videos are done in DVD quality, which is either 16 or 24 bit, can't quite remember, but 48 hertz one quarter of what I'm going to be working at, or possibly working at with my raw files. It's nice. I've got quarter inch mono line in. I've got dual RCA interconnect for stereo mic hookup, SPDIF both in and out. Never actually have used that, but it's nice to have, as well as optical and MIDI inputs. It's just really nice. What's hilarious is it's actually from about 2003, but a lot of people still love this device and have actually been making unofficial driver updates to Windows 7, maybe even 10 at this point. I haven't checked. And I got lucky because it is an old PCI card, not PCIe or PCIe X16, just PCI, but I had one PCI slot. I'll talk more about that in a minute. I'll just say I paid $5 for the front panel here, and just the front panel alone tends to go for at least 30 bucks. So I did good. I'm now going to cut, rip this guy open, and show you what I'm working with on the inside. So here's the inside of the PC case. Admittedly, I haven't really done much when it comes to cable sorting, but I'll be taking care of that at a later date. What I have here is my original one terabyte hard drive from my previous PC build, an additional 750 gigabyte hard drive that I pulled out of a thrifted computer, room for four more hard drives, not even including the ones that can be plugged into the hot swap bay. So that's nice. I completely missed the thumbs up. There it is. Let's see, the motherboard is a Gigabyte GAZ77X-UD5H. Lots of numbers and letters there, I know, but what I can tell you is the motherboard still sells for about $200. I bought it at a thrift store with the CPU still installed, or pre-installed, I should say. It is an Intel i7-3770K overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz that was using the stock cooler. I got that pair for $8. The RAM is from my previous PC build. 
The oversized CPU cooler I have there is the Hyper 212 Plus from Cooler Master. I paid $7 for it instead of the $30 retail. And here's hoping it will allow me to overclock the crap out of this computer. Or at least squeeze it up to 4 plus gigahertz. The graphics card is an EVGA GTX 760. I bought it for $50 at a thrift store back when it was still about 10 months old. So it was originally a $350 card or around about maybe $300. I bought it while it was still that price range for $50. And people these days are still trying to get that kind of money for it between $150 to $500 because apparently people don't realize when something is outmoded that means it's obsolete this has not hit collectible computer tech territory same can be said for the cpu because originally it was 350 dollars when i first picked it up and now people are wanting between 130 and 500 dollars i don't know what's going through people's minds that being said i could see it still holding the $100 value, so not bad for $4 if you count it as a separate piece from the motherboard. Here is the actual audio card that goes with my front panel audio interface. Like I said, it is an original PCI and I had one PCI port, so I got lucky there. Online you can get it for about 50 bucks, or if it's on sale, 40 I picked it up for 12 so that plus the front panel, about $80. I paid a grand total of 17 bucks. Going around, if I go right to the back, right below the audio card, you can see two more USB 3.0 slots. I picked those up for $2 at a thrift store. They're currently selling in the range of 20 to 30. So I did okay. Power supply, once again, from my previous computer. I may or may not have gone a little bit overboard because I needed something to power a rig that I was turning into a Frankenstein's monster even back then, and the parts were power hungry. I went a little overkill though. It has not failed me yet, so huzzah. If it does inevitably fail me, and not in a catastrophic manner, I do have several 600 watts that I picked up for about 5 bucks. That should be more than adequate for the system, but I'll keep this in for now. The case itself actually came with three fans, 12 centimeter fans to be exact, which is nice because my old PC's fans kinda failed, or at least kinda got very noisy, so... I did not want to have to put up with those in the background of my podcast recordings. Also, I have added three more fans, all of which are thrifted. They were two bucks a pop. Fans this size are usually about four or five dollars, so I didn't save too much. But they are backlit, well, LED lit. Don't really think I'd call it backlit. Either way, my PC's gonna glow. That's what matters. That's really about it. I was originally planning on doing a recording of the build itself, but things kind of got out of hand, got annoying, and decided to just show you the aftermath instead. That's all I've got for you now. I need to get back to working on the podcast because I've been finding board games like crazy. The past month alone has gotten me 30 plus, so... I'm going to have a lot to talk about in those videos, or audio files, yeah, audios, right? But I will be taking photos to go along with them, posting it on a WordPress site. I don't think I'm going to be buying my own vanity domain just yet, because I'm trying to do this on the cheap, seeing as how it's for people that are doing this kind of stuff on the cheap. So, I'm off to do that. Until next time, this is your guy, Cly. Signing off.